Hi, in this lesson I will tell something about adaptations in plants and animals. Uh, the learning goals, you uh, can describe adaptations in plants and animals, and you know the difference between plantigrades, digitigrades, and ungulligrades. Okay, as an introduction, there are all kinds of adaptations like blending in with the surrounding uh, vegetation. So if you look carefully, you see a deer, you see the eyes, the legs, here you see a giraffe, here you see its head. Um, but also adaptation uh, with camouflaging eggs in ground nesting birds. So these eggs just blend in with the stones around it. Um, but also uh, avoiding visual detection while sleeping. Here you see a bird and here you see a bird as well. Um, this one is my favorite. This is when uh, insects uh, mimic bird droppings. So here you see a caterpillar, but it looks just like bird dropping. I think this one is a spider, but I'm not sure. So all organisms have adaptations to their way of life and their environment. And these adaptations increase their chance on survival. So as we saw with the uh, caterpillar that mimics bird droppings, it makes it less likely to be eaten by a bird. With the ant eaters, you see that especially for their uh, diet, their tongue has been adapted. So in this case, it's a, you see that the form of its tongue fits the function. And this is where we will be focusing on uh, in this lesson. Then the adaptations in water plants. Water plants have weak stems. Because they live in the water, they don't need these thick stems, so they can spare the energy. Um, often the stems contain air channels, especially with water lilies. Um, they have these special air channels and it makes that the leaves will flow to the surface, so it can carry out photosynthesis. Um, the stomata are on the upper surface of the leaves. So uh, recall from the uh, previous lesson, um, the stomata were these little mouths in the surface on the, of the leaves, and this enables the plant to breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. Um, adaptations in terrestrial plants. Uh, when a plant lives in a damp environment, you often see large and thin leaves. You see that they have few roots or small roots and they don't have to spend a lot of energy uh, when there's enough of water. Um, but in a dry environment, you see small and thick leaves to prevent evaporation uh, from the leaves and a lot of roots or large roots. Um, but a plant can also defend itself using thorns or stinging hairs or toxins to prevent that they are being eaten. If you look at animals living in the water, you often see that the body is streamlined. Uh, in fish, the scales are covered in a layer of slime and they breathe in oxygen using their gills. Here you see different beaks of different birds. I'm not going to discuss them all. Um, but important thing is, just with the uh, anteater, is that you see that form fits function. So some beaks are adapted in eating seeds and some uh, beaks are adapted in uh, ripping off uh, parts of meat. So uh, keep in mind, form fits function. Now, when you look at terrestrial animals, uh, you see that the, uh, the feet of the different kinds of animals are also adapted to their environment. Um, you see a few bones are colored and the blue bones are the heel bones, red are the metatarsals and yellow are the toes. So there are similarities in the bones, only the uh, bones have adapted to the different surroundings. Okay, plantigrades walk on the whole sole of the foot. Uh, humans are plantigrades as well. Um, plantigrades are adapted on, uh, on soil that is a little bit soft. So walking on the whole sole of the foot will prevent that you sink in the soil too much. Then you have the digitigrades and they walk on their toes. Uh, ungulligrades walk on the tip of their toes and this is a special adaptation for the, the hard soils. Goed, dat was dan alweer het einde van deze les. Mocht je deze les in het Nederlands willen bekijken, kijk dan op um, uh, het uh, filmpje van Biologie met Joost in het linker filmpje. En voor de volgende les kun je op het rechter filmpje klikken.